All right, this thing makes me want to pull my hair out. You guys, all, all I wanted to do was make a video and I had all these updates hit just all at the same time. And I had to update my drivers, I had to update everything, do everything, and then in, in all reality, all I had to do was just sit here and stare into space for 20 minutes because the drivers were already updating. And here I am trying to overwrite them, but it's not telling me that I'm actually updating them. So my, my brain is just like... Uh... The benefits of being a content creator and making things. Um, So just quick rundown. If this would have worked out the way I wanted it to work out, I would have already made a video on the Tiger 2 today within the past 40 minutes but I now do not have enough time to do that so I guess I'm gonna just kick back and tell you guys dude, that this thing is actually not too bad um I've seen a couple of content creators out there already talking about the way that the Tiger 2 is put together someone is saying it might be too much is it too much um the fact is no it is not too much because whenever you look at the Tiger 2 and you compare it to pretty much anything else that's actually in game. Um, by the way, I'm trying out a new recording setup as I was looking through it. I'm using more B frames. So if you guys notice less uh, latency changes or if it's not as pixelated for you or if you're having problems with your encoder, you know, watching it on YouTube, if you guys are experiencing a lot of stuttering. Uh, that would be helpful feedback for me to help try and get better quality videos out and not having much of a problem. Okay, so we're going to compare this to the Basante C45 just because of the ammunition type. So people are talking about this thing, it might be too much on the buff. In all reality, the only tank in game that had too much of a buff is the version 5 and the E4. Um, this is actually not too bad with the 160 top plate. As you guys can see, flat on 200 and I believe it's 18. Yeah, 218. You got a 60% chance of going through um, on Flatland. And, you know, there's some tanks out there that have 225, 236 standard pin. Uh, for instance, that's actually talking about the T-54E2 and the Dragon, which are apparently some extremely common tanks. Um, even if this thing is side scraping, it's still going to be struggling a tad bit. Look at the side of the turret here. It is a very, very green. You've got to make sure that you're angling all the time and keeping that turret facing your opponent. So really, I don't think the buff was too much. I actually think this thing needed this for the longest time. And it's really nice to see it added into here. Now for you guys, you load the heat rounds, it all goes green. Even the top armor up top goes green which is supposed to be auto ricochet for standard rounds, which it actually is at that angle to auto ricochet. As you guys can see, it's purple. That means auto ricochet if you're flat on. If you're up above it a little bit, you can go through top armor and both plates. Um, this is just going to be a skill-based tank. It's not going to be the best performer. It is just the way it is. And I'm time is you know running out for me. Um, for everyone who would like to know this, though, you can actually aim underneath the uh, tracks of the Tiger so if they're side scraping from a little distance away, just aim for that little arm bar that likes to come up at a really weird slant. All the all the Germans had the same issues except for the tens, uh, because they have this slant in the armor, which is actually really hard to see right there. Okay, there we go. But they just have a slant. Um, with the actual visual effects here, uh, as you can see, aiming up on the inside, it'll be a little bit difficult to find it, but it is there, and you will find it. But all you got to do is pretty much aim into the track section. And there you go, right into the fender, and you'll find it. Um, don't believe the absorbed. That is just a lie. If they're coming up over a hill, aim for the tracks. You'll you'll pin the tracks and pin the armor, do overmatch. It's only 30 millimeters thick, so you don't really get much to worry about. Um, yeah, that's one thing they suffer from quite a bit. Under armor wise, you get the 40 millimeter plate if they're coming over, but just lower plate. Primarily though, infratrax coming over hills. Um, my channel, you guys, I want to work on bringing you uh, the best possible information that I can bring. And that requires me to take time out to be able to do that. Um, 
I will never make clickbait. I'm too lazy to make clickbait. That takes away too much work. As you guys can see, I'm a slacker. You know, I, I don't even make thumbnails anymore. I stopped. I need to start doing it again, but I've just been losing interest. And I do it because kind of stuck doing it, I guess. Eh. But I'm hearing some people complain about the Tiger 2, saying this buff might be too much. It's not too much. The second anything with 250 or more heat round pin loads the premium. Um, for crying out loud, we can probably even compare this to, on console, a Chinese medium that is... I don't think PC has the Type 59-2. You know what? We can actually compare it to the T34-3, which is, uh, I do believe they have that 250 pin T34-3. There we go. And the second you load 250 heat pin, um, yeah, 63% chance, uh, lower plate pinnable. And then that entire roof of the tank is pinnable with heat rounds. So yeah, I don't think this buff was too much. If anything, it is actually a pretty decent buff to have on these tanks because second you load the heat 250 or more 270 or more um that's where the tiger 2 will start to suffer so it is a little bit more of a skill based tank but it's not too bad some people are complaining about the view range as well uh they're saying that 400 base meters is too much it it's always been 400 always been 400 this was originally a support heavy tank that was added into the game and now it benefits from heavy armor. Sure, it's got a decent rate of fire, but it has less alpha damage compared to most. Um, for instance, right now with my crew on it and everything else on it, we can actually look at the DPM, 2,625 uh, on the right side of the screen, that is. And they changed this on me again, so I've got to relearn it and look through this. Power to weight, however, this tank is lacking in power to weight. So, yeah, there, there's not really a whole lot that this thing is taking to the field to make a huge difference um 8.2 second reload i don't know if that's including rations added into it or not so what i can do is we'll come here uh actually clear slot there we go because i'm still learning everything else that's new um reload time got better by removing it Am I blind? 7.19. Then let's put these back on because that hurt my head to see. Okay, 7.31. All right, so you had to reshuffle it. Or I'm looking at rate of fire, 8.2. Okay, so 7.31. Um, 2,625 DPM. That is not outrageous at all. This is not game breaking. Uh, that's about average whenever you actually think about um, some other tanks in game for instance if you want to see some real DPM get your hands on the American version of the tank That is a premium tank the captured King Tiger that I'm not even using a gun rammer on and it's sporting 2472 without a crew and then the second that we're gonna be putting a crew on this tank Yes, we're gonna see improvements, but it's not like anyone complained about the captured King Tiger whenever it first got buffed um, Captured King Tiger, this was a buff that a lot of people actually looked at and said, hey, this is freaking awesome. Yeah, 250 more DPM, 5.04 second reload. And this gun, it has module damage of 119. So two shots into the tracks and then you perma-track, keep them perma-tracked. And yeah, this it's got the same view range. No one complained about it. Yet now that the Tiger 2 is getting the buff and I've watched a couple of the content creators... Um, yeah, um, they have, um, I don't want to be mean, but I feel like they don't have the experience with testing like I do. And it kind of pulls away from it. But don't get me wrong, Tiger 2, less DPM, more penetration. Other than that, you guys, um, I wish everything on my system was working correctly, but there was a Windows update. Immediately after the Windows update, OBS had the update, and then... Uh, it said that I don't have an NVIDIA encoder anymore, so I updated all my drivers. And yeah, just, just, you know, the benefits of having a computer, having everything else, and uh, having a little bit of tea left. Oh, I hit my knuckle on my mic. That kind of hurt. 
Ah, it was sweet. That's pretty good. But, yeah. Um, if everything was running right, I would have had, like, a 20, 30-minute video up. So, thank you, guys. Um, Tiger 2, it's not overpowered. I'll probably actually put an actual video out tomorrow about it. Uh, play a few matches inside of it, because I literally bought the tank less than 30 minutes ago. Had it stock. Took a screenshot of it. I was going to make a thumbnail. I was going to get everything ready for it. To show it off. And, yeah, then I, I had all these updates hit all at the same time, and my brain hurts. It hurts. You guys have a great night, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. Um, leave a comment. Don't leave a like. Uh, this one doesn't need likes. This is just me complaining that I'm a Muppet and that I don't know how to apparently work my system, even though I'm the one that put it all together. So, yeah, the brain farts on me. You see, the brain gets bigger, but the bigger it gets, it doesn't get more wrinkles. Wrinkles actually get brought out of it the bigger it gets, so you actually get a big, smooth brain. So you get a big brain, but it's a big, smooth brain. So now you guys get the idea whenever people say, we got big brain ideas. They're big and they're smooth. Yeah. <laughs>